Sit erect, the head, the neck and the spine in a straight line, close your eyes gently, relax your shoulders, let your hands be in your lap or on your thighs or on the knees palms facing the sky then hold your hands in the Jnana Mudra if you like Come to a comfortable posture without any strain in any part of the body. Feel grateful to Bhagwan for all the relationships that we have. Each of them help us to evolve emotionally. Spiritually, think of one relationship that you value the most. Thank Bhagwan for this relationship. Bhagwan is the one who brings us together. To settle our karmic accounts. He alone knows. How long will any relationship last? based on the karma. Value what Bhagavan has given. Value what our karma has brought us together with. Whoever is there in our life, is because of some karma. Sincerely thank Bhagwan for the most valuable relationship that you have in life. Pray that may we do our best in the relationship. 
put the other person first. And also develop detachment. So that there is true love and freedom. Sincerely thank Bhagavan. And know that Bhagavan is with us in this journey of detachment that is life. Bhagavan is the very embodiment of all detachment. So that Lord who is the Lord of detachment will definitely help us to drop all our attachments. Have faith in Bhagwan and let go of any fear, any hesitation, any agitation. First step is preparation and posture. Second step, auto suggestion. Suggest to the mind that for the next 30 minutes I am steady and still without any movements. For the next 30 minutes, I am steady and still without any moments. I am alert, awake and quiet. I am alert, awake and quiet. For the next 30 minutes, I am a seeker alone and a devotee alone. All the other roles and responsibilities can wait. For the next 30 minutes, I am a seeker and a devotee alone. Third step, be aware of the happenings around you.
the mind can be brought into the present just by the awareness of anything happening around you. Any sounds, any silence, the feel of your clothes, the chair on which you are sitting, be aware of anything happening around. non-judgmental awareness of the present. Fourth step, relaxation of the body. And fifth step, deep breathing and observation. As you inhale, slow, steady and deep. Feel that the whole body is filled with the divine energy of Shiva. And as you exhale, let that energy go out through your toes and fingers. Taking away all the stress and strain. Exhale all the air.
Continue to breathe slow, steady and deep at your own pace. And be aware of every breath as it goes in and comes out. Next step, invocation. In the space between the two eyebrows or in your heart, visualize a circle of white light. Pure and divine. Visualize a circle of white light. Invoke the auspicious form of your Sadhguru from your heart. Feel that you are in front of your Sadhguru. Seeking the grace and guidance of the Satguru. Bhagavan alone comes as the Sadhguru and continues to guide us over many lifetimes also if required. All other relationships are temporary. The relationship with the Satguru or Bhagavan is permanent. The Guru who helps us to discover Atma Jnan and liberates us from the bondage of karma acquired in many lives. As we prostrate to the Guru with all devotion, let us chant Aneka janma samprapta Karma bandha vidahine At 
ಮಹಾಪ್ರದಾನಸ್ಮೈಗುರವೆ ನಮಃ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀಗುರವೆ ನಮಃ have the bhav is the guru is bhagwan himself is the supreme brahman who has taken the form to guide us back to the true self offer some flowers at the feet of the satguru perform a pradakshina come to prostrate in front of the satguru touch the head to the feet of the satguru as you get up feel that the hand of the satguru is on your head May the grace and blessings of the Satguru lead us, guide us, and protect us. Repose the Satguru back in your heart. Invoke the auspicious form of Bhagavan Shiva. Bhagavan is seated amidst the mountains of the Himalayas, specifically his dham is Kailas. Bhagavan is seated in meditation. He has a long jatas with Ganga Ji in the forehead, crescent moon, Bilva Patra, all tied up with the Rudraksha Mala. On the forehead is the third eye. with some bhasma as a kumkum on the forehead of bhagwan his two eyes are partially closed there is a gentle smile on his face There are two kundals in his ear lobes, golden kundals.
On his blue neck is a black serpent. Bhagavan is Pashupati, who has mastered all the animalistic tendencies. is the lord of all the beings there is an animal skin around his chest there is a elephant skin around his waist both are tied with a red cloth There are five Rudraksha Malas of different sizes on the chest up to the navel. Broad chested Bhagavan sits erect on a tiger skin. He has strong arms. One is resting on the left knee. The other arm is folded and is blessing us. There is a Trishul and a Damru next to Bhagwan. This is the auspicious form of Bhagwan Shiva. There is a halo behind the head of Bhagwan. Now let us invoke him to the Panchakshara Stotra, one shloka. Nagendraharaya Tilochanaya Asmangaragaya Maheshwaraya Nityaya Shuddhaya Digambaraya Asmai Nakaraya Namahivaya Bhagavan has a garland of snakes around his neck. He has three eyes. He applies Vibhuti all over the body. He is the Supreme Lord of all Devatas. He is the Supreme Creator, Sustainer and Destroyer. He is the Eternal Truth, your rest. completely detached from any body identification. Salutations to that Lord who is in the form of Nakara in Namah Shivaya. Feel that you are in front of Bhagavan. You 
have invoked Bhagavan with this beautiful shloka. Seventh step is concentration, where we chant the mantra of Bhagavan. Check your posture. If you are not erect, come back to erect posture. Om Namah Shivaya 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 
ഓം നമഃ ശിവായ ഓം നമഃ ശിവായ ഓം നമഃ ശിവായ ഓം നമ 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 ശിവായ continue mentally ഭഗവാൻ ശിവ ഇതി ഗുരു നമ ശിവായ ഇതി മഹാവാക്യ the eighth step is to contemplate on this mahavakya when we hear the mahavakya from a guru who is shotriya and brahmanishta the realization of the truth happens instantaneously if we are ready if 
we are not we have to listen reflect and contemplate Namaha indicates the state of surrender of the jiva. Between jiva and shiva is this veil of ignorance and body identification. Namaha indicates the surrender of Jiva Bhav, surrender of Dehatma Bhav, we are not the body, mind and the intellect, we are pure consciousness, one with Shiva. Shiva is the consciousness functioning through the totality. He is the Ishvara, Maheshwara. is Sachidananda Swarup, Brahman, entire universe appears from him, appears in him, disappears into him. That infinite consciousness is Shiva. Maya is to indicate the oneness. Negate the body, mind, intellect identification that we have, negate the total body, mind, intellect identification that is Ishvara. And know that we are one with Shiva, essentially. Chidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Of the nature of pure consciousness and bliss and auspiciousness is our true nature.
five times we will chant om namah shivaya each time have the bhav i am not the jiva i am one with shiva om namah shivaya om shivaya offer some flowers at the feet of bhagwan shiva as the guru may he lead us to the satmagyan perform a pradakshina of bhagwan shiva prostrate at the feet of bhagwan feel the hand of bhagwan on your forehead thank bhagwan for this quiet moments of meditation Repose the Lord back into your heart. Be aware of your breath. Be aware of the body. be aware of the happenings around you we pray for everyone's well being om sarve bhavantu sukhinaha सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्य कचि दुख भाग भवे ओम मसतो मद्गमय नमसो मोतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मा अमृत गूर्णमद पूर्णमिदम पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण 
Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Arihiyom Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Arihiyom Gently rub your palms, place them on the face, and open your eyes.